We show that the data leak of the Panama Papers wiped a total of 220 to 230 billion dollars of market capitalizations of firms around the world. This is a very recent study we are putting out with my co-authors James O'Donovan at INSEAD and Stefan Zoim at the University of Michigan. We find that there are around the world roughly 1,100 firms that have potential exposure to the allegations made in the Panama Papers. And while each firm lost relatively little value in the scandal, overall it's 220 to 230 billion dollars, an enormous amount. Now, the Panama Papers themselves have been breaking news on every channel around the world. Their reports have been explosive because they have implicated politicians, business people, celebrities and international organizations such as FIFA. It's an enormous list and it's the biggest data leak in history. The Panama Papers are sensational on the one hand because they reveal to us the secrets of other people. But they're also extremely interesting precisely since they reveal how people actually use offshore vehicles. Of course, there are many legitimate reasons for having a firm in the British Virgin Islands, say. But the documents also show that offshore firms are used for tax evasion, to finance corruption, for money laundering, for violations of sanctions and to cheat on taxes. Now, we are the first academic paper to analyze this data leak. And what we do is we measure whether the Panama Papers actually matters in a financial sense. We look at all publicly traded firms around the world and we see how their stock price changes around the news of the data leak itself. This methodology is called an event study. So we check whether firms have any activities in any of the four tax havens that the law firm at the center of the data leak actually used. These are the British Virgin Islands, Panama, the Seychelles and the Bahamas. So, for example, Vodafone has a subsidiary in Panama. The reason why is probably because Vodafone has clients in Panama. But other firms may have subsidiaries in Panama for not so good reasons, such as avoiding taxes. We also find other things. For example, we find that firms that are connected to countries where politicians have been implicated by the Panama Papers in the first stories, they lost similar amounts of value. Now, our investigation is ongoing since not all data from the Panama Papers are public just yet. So we'll keep working on this and we'll publish our results. Our current working paper is titled The Value of Offshore Secrets, Evidence from the Panama Papers and you can read it online at SSRN.com.